I'm Didi Villega, 29 years old. I'm a real life voodoo witch. The most frequent things that I hear is that I'm against religion, an antichrist, I'm a satanist. I never wanted to fit in a box. It's part of my identity. Today, I'm going to perform a voodoo ritual. I've had a lot of negativity. People comment on social media. We're hoping to get rid of anything toxic. I treat a voodoo and wicca as a way of life, as my religion. Everything I do, it's, it's with the, the principles of, of the craft. I have most of my body tattooed from my face, upper torso, back, calves. I also have 12 piercings, tattooed eyes. 80%, let's just say that, are covered with tattoos. When I was younger, I always was fascinated with with magic. Uh, when I uh, growing up, it was like an escape for me as a as a gay kid growing up. When I was in high school, that's when I uh, that's when I got into it. Voodoo and Wicca has changed me as a person because I can be like who I want to be um, without judgment, with acceptance from the community. So. It was, it was awesome, it was a great help. I never wanted to fit in a box. I never wanted to be like somebody else. So having extreme modifications and at the same time embracing something that people might fear is something that can't be stolen away from me. It's like part of my identity. I met my boyfriend online and we just clicked. Start ako ng frame request sa kanya, tas inaccept ko na. Inaccept naman niya ako. Sinunod ko lang yung ano, puso ko. Ang pagmamahal, wala yan sa gender, nasa puso yan. Naman tao, sasabihin namin kasi dahil nga sa ano, tato namin. Bukod pa sa demonyo, mga ano daw, mga hambas lupa. Lagi kong makikita sa comments sa TikTok account ko. Pero, binaliwala ko na lang. Kasi hindi naman nakakatulong sa akin yan. I love hosting my visuals, my aesthetics, fashion, and social media because I think alternative image like myself is very underrated here in my area, or not, not just in my country, even, even in the fashion industry internationally. It's like, it's like another platform that everybody's welcome with no rules, with no regulations, with no molds to fit in. I receive a lot of negative comments from, from people, uh, whether it be social media or face-to-face -face experience daily. The most frequent things that I hear is that I'm against religion, I'm an antichrist, I'm a satanist. They associate me with something dark or evil. What we're doing today is a very simple voodoo ritual or a Wiccan ritual. I've had a lot of negativity. People comment on social media. We're hoping for the loas or the spirits to attract more positivity and get rid of the negative ambiance or the aura that's been circling around me. To clear that out, voodoo, it doesn't have something to do with demonic presence or whatnot. Voodoo technically is about healing. We're hoping to just get rid of anything toxic. The beauty of voodoo and the thing with, with these elder or older traditions is you can practice it how your heart, how your soul tells you to do it. You get a connection from whoever you're worshipping, so it works differently. It works separately for each individual. At the end of the day, even if you've been given bashing or rude comments, you can still make the make, make laughter or make fun about it. I am praying for a world where equity and equality is just present and we can just live like everybody else.